Jessica Corley joins us, Vice President of Development at Palmer Home. Jessica, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Can I'm you, doing great, thanks. Good. Can you hear me loud and clear? Let's let's get the connection set first. I can hear you. I can hear you. Very good. This is Giving Tuesday. Have any ideas about that at all, about a great place to give? <laughs> I do. You know, um, no, we're... We are excited about Giving Tuesday. It's an incredible new tradition that's just spread globally since 2012. And at Palmer Home for Children, it's a really big day for us. And we're just always so moved by people who are just so generous um, of themselves, of their finances, of their time. It all makes a life-changing impact for the children and families that we serve at Palmer Home. I'm just asking this, and I have no idea. Does this reason it's today coincide with any deadlines as far as taxes or anything like that, or is they just picked a date? You know, I don't know. I want to say they just picked a date, but obviously you yeah. want to get your donation in before the end of the calendar year for tax purposes. Yeah. Um, I want to say that they just said, well, there was Black Friday and Small Business Saturday <laughs> and then yeah. Cyber Monday. Why not Giving Tuesday? I would have well, preferred and, us know, it come first, but, you know. <laughs> we, we have some people who've, who've, um, who've won some lottery winnings over the years, and certainly this year since uh, the beginning of the year. And if they want to say thank you, Lord, for that luck, they might want to, you know, mm. cut a little bit of a check and say thank you. That that would uh, that, that would be a, a real possibility. Also, let me let me say this, absolutely, uh, Jessica, that when you you go back and you look at the Palmer Home and, and you see the benefits of what is going on and the money that people have given through the years through our radio, television, thon, and everything else, I, I don't think you can see the fulfillment of that at any point more so mm. than what these kids experienced in their prior life to what they are experiencing, <clears throat> excuse me, during the Christmas season. I mean, mm. when Absolutely. you watch, and, and I've seen pictures of some of the celebrations there uh, with the families, and boy, that's that's when it really hits home. Absolutely. Oh, we do Christmas big at Palmer Home. If you can just... Put yourself in these kids' shoes. So many of these kids have gone from foster home to foster home, or they've endured trauma or are being separated from their parents. And one thing that's so special about Palmer Home is we keep sibling groups together. So we want to reduce the trauma. Um, I can just imagine being torn from my parents and then also being torn from my siblings would just be... Horrific. And so we strive to yeah. keep sibling groups together. And so they're going to be together this Christmas. They're going to be surrounded by people who want to care for them, nurture them, provide for them. They're going to have full bellies, warm clothes on, a roof over their head, and so, so much more. We're going to have a big, beautiful tree, Polar Express, and lots of fun things for the kids. And it's just, it's yeah. a joyous time. How do people do this? Uh, well, what's the mechanism uh, other than just going to the website and writing a check? Is there any other ways sure. to do this or uh, you, you fill us in on that? Absolutely. So, yes, people can always go and give online at palmerhome.org. They can write us a check. Mm -hmm. You can also give of your time and your talents. Um, our kids come to us sometimes several grades behind. We have our Palmer School there at Palmer Home Campus for those kids that need some extra help to get caught up before being put into mm -hmm. a traditional school setting. And they need tutors for after school as well. So if you want to volunteer your time as a tutor teach them life skills they've been our older kids have been learning how to debate lately a lot of our kids are getting ukulele lessons right now which is so fun wow. Um, wow. just all sorts of things if you have a skill time and talent that you want to help enrich these children's lives please reach out you can also do a pantry drive of dried goods like toilet paper paper towels washing detergent if you can imagine with as many kids as we have in each of these houses that we go through that stuff pretty quick. 
You know, I never thought about this, but any manufacturer that uh, that's located in the state of Mississippi and part of this incredible audience, if they have products like that and they want to ship some to Palmer Home, just make a connection, call somebody there, find out what the proper route is, and, man, ship something for Christmas, that would be absolutely uh, fabulous. And, and it's a multitude yes. of different things uh, that, that they can send. Um Corporate mm-hmm. sponsors are so important, though. We talk about that. And that's a big mm-hmm. part of continuing the tradition there and helping it grow at Palmer Home. Absolutely. No, we have so many corporate sponsors that give it their time mm-hmm. and treasure and come out and mend fences and detail our house parents' cars, as for example. You know, I only have two children. And when I look in my car of just the explosion of animal crackers, and then I think of our house parents and just their vans with, you know, up to eight kids. That yeah. really um, is a blessing when, when corporate groups come out and help, you know, organize a pantry or clean a car. It's incredible. I know when you talk about uh, people donating their time there physically, you have to be close enough to drive through or drive to sure. uh, the school. But have you ever considered distant learning, too, if you had some mentors in other parts of the state? Is that something in the future that you could look at? Absolutely. I love that. Now, I mean, if you've got some really creative people who would love to do that, and you've got a big screen there, uh, the kids probably we would do. enjoy that. Yeah. We do. And all we right. have people One come from all here. over as well. It, 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 it's, uh, it, and we always invite people to do that because when, once you see that, uh, I know a lot of folks have heard us talk about it, and then we got some incredible people says, I don't even need, need to see it. I know I'm sending a check. But when mm-hmm. people do see that, they understand that it, it manifests itself in reality as something tangible. And it's with them for a long, long time. But again, Mm -hmm. the Christmas season, if you've given a dollar or a thousand dollars or whatever it is, you've got to smile. And I hope you do when you realize that how it turns itself into some smiles on those kids and at no time Mm -hmm. more so than than Christmas time. Your final thoughts, Jessica Corley, Vice President of Development at Palmer Home. Sure. Just thank you for your prayers for our children and families at Palmer Home. Thank you for your over a decade of support with Super Talk listeners. We're so grateful for the life-changing impact mm-hmm. that you all have made. And there is no gift too big or too small that can change a child's life this Christmas. So thank you. Well, thank you. M- Merry Christmas to you and Merry Christmas to everyone Merry at Palmer Christmas. Home. You got it. Thank,